So one of my big furniture projects in the works is a large dining room table, 60 inch round tabletop, hard maple, with a pretty interesting base with a lot of complex joinery that I'll get to later. Uh, but just wanted to create a short video about uh, circle cutting, very large radii circles. In this case, the radius of a 60 inch table obviously would be 30 inches, okay? So I had my original glue up here, you can see uh, the edges there, all my, my uh, boards glued up and then the next step was to cut it into a circle. There's lots of fancy jigs for this, but really all you need is a router, a straight bit, and then a board that's longer than your radius. So all I did here is find my center point on the table. Uh, my table glue up was about 63 inches and I wanted a 60 inch table, so I found my center point in the middle of those two. Same thing from the, the two edges. <coughs> And then uh, from the nail hole to where my router bit would be, I wanted to be 30 inches, right, to create a 60 inch circle. And so, <coughs> but obviously before I attached this board to the tabletop, uh, I drilled some holes that li lined up with the base of this router and then screwed this board uh, to the router base. And then you got your setup. Uh, you can just get started. You can plunge the uh, bit in and do a, a light pass to start. Work your way around the table, right? And then plunge further, work your way around the table, plunge further until you're all the way through. I started from the bottom side uh, with the bit I've got in there and also obviously with the nail hole, I didn't want a nail hole on the top. But in my case, this took, I think it was four passes, a little bit out of time to get through stock that's about uh, five quarter thickness. And really happy with the way that the cut ended up, very, very flush and smooth. And obviously it's a perfect circle because we had our uh, setup there. And just to zoom in here a little closer to show you the setup uh, and how it's hooked to the router, I took off the base plate, which was attached with three machine screws. And then I took the base and uh, traced on this board where two of the holes lined up since it was not wide enough for all three. Two was enough to hold it in place. Um, then I drilled some uh, countersunk holes so I could get these little screen screws through this uh, board into the actual metal base of the router. And then I plunged my uh, straight bit through the piece of wood uh, about a quarter of an inch through to start with a quarter inch pass all the way around to get a good smooth start. Didn't want to try to bite off too much and have a jagged uh, finish. And so it's again, it's attached here to the base of the router. I plunged the bit through and then you just continually step down, a plunge further down into the wood as you're going around. And again, it's just a nail in the middle of the table that went through this board as well. Again, this isn't uh, my idea. Lots of people have been doing this lots of ways, but uh, perhaps this uh, gives you the confidence to try it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. And so here you can see the process underway. I've plunged into the tabletop and working my way around. And I say, like I said, it took about four passes. Uh, one thing I would modify if I were to do it again, I'd create a little more clearance in the hole that I made through the, um, uh, the jig so that the chips would clear a little bit better out of the, uh, the groove that I'm making. Here you can see I just lowered it further into the tabletop and we'll work our way around again and I believe this will be the final pass. Again, this is uh, not my idea, this is a technique that many people have used for many years. Just trying to demonstrate how easy it really is to get a nice circle with a router, a nail, and a board. So there you have it, circle all complete. And if I can do it, you can do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully something's been helpful here for you. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and so forth, all those things on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If there's anything I can do, let me know.